Hello everyone, this project is motivated as a requirement at school and the first time I heard about it, I said to myself, say what? And good thing the deadline was extended, but still, I still don't know where to start. So there was really long darkness until one of the classmates shared her discussion with the faculty in charge. So hallelujah, that's where I discovered Mishtastic and after reading through available documentations, I immediately looked for the required hardware, basically the GPS modules. And a week after, I got them delivered already at home. I can only afford two of these TTGO T-Beam modules, which has ESP32 microcontrollers, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GPS, and separate OLED displays. And here comes the scariest part of the journey. I wasn't thinking that I would still be needing to do this because when I saw it on the ad or the product page, the OLED display is already attached to the module. So good, well, good thing I do have a soldering iron and the soldering lead available at home, but never really the skill. So I was really afraid that after spending for these modules and trying to solder to it the the all the display that I will just uh, in the end break them so that would really be frustrating right after having all this difficulty how I wish I have the so-called third arm tool to really help me with the soldering and so it went on for hours and hours and remember the all the displays have four pins so I have two a pair of them basically and of course I have to solder them uh, at the front and back so that's a total of 16 uh, pins to be soldered it was really a grueling task but in the end so finally got the OLED displays working with the modules now comes the software and since I'm a Mac user tried it with Mac of course but really no success there so I pulled out a shelved uh, Windows computer and there you go just downloaded the necessary COM port drivers for Windows and both modules are now flashed with the latest firmware and there the software meets the hardware the next step is to pair the module the hardware with the with an Android device with an Android phone so well it wasn't an easy task also first of all I have to borrow actual Android phone I don't have one my lack of knowledge in the use of an Android device make it more challenging simply because I don't know my way around the platform. Especially that MeshTastic needs a high accuracy when it comes to location uh, tracking. So that would be for the GPS, the Bluetooth, the Wi-Fi and everything just to make sure that uh, when it comes to locating the device uh, it has high accuracy. The next showstopper is how to actually have these two devices communicate with each other. I did say showstopper simply because I stopped my progress because of this particular issue. So no matter what I do, well, I did a lot of things, tried a lot of things and probably I spent more than two days for this particular issue. I was actually worried that this is the farthest that I can go simply because one of the phones that I borrowed is an old one I was thinking that the reason why I can't get them to communicate with each other is simply because one of them one of the connections or the pairing the, the one paired with an old Android phone cannot establish a stable connection at first I tried to work on having them both of them on the same channel so I made use of the scanning of the QR code, uh, sharing it with the other phone, and vice versa. But still, the devices cannot communicate with each other. After being prostrated for more than two days, I remember the allowed frequencies for this particular project, which determines what version of the firmware should be used. So then I used the version for the EU433 frequency and flash it on both modules. So after flashing both communicators with the new firmware, the, the one with the for the EU433 frequency, of course I have to set them up again with each uh, corresponding Android device. And after doing the necessary pairing, the setup, 
I was afraid that uh, I still can't get them to work. I can't get both devices to communicate with each other. Yes, they are paired again with each other and the communicators show more information now as compared to the previously installed firmware. But still, they can't communicate with each other. Well, I will now spare you from watching the fast-forwarded version of my failed attempts, frustrating attempts. The old Android phone is actually the one causing the problem, so after restarting it, it actually worked. Now let's watch uh, my first successful test on having these two uh, GPS mesh communicator in actually communicating with each other. For me, the best indicator that the device is actually paired properly, stably with uh, the gadget with an Android device is that when I can already rename it. So now it's time for a field test. The idea here is to be able to have these two communicators uh, from a distance. So this one is uh, well here at home and the other one is somewhere on top of the mountain. So I think that's far enough, right? So uh, from me controlling the device uh, at home, so I tried to send a message and of course uh, it will be sent through the GPS mesh communicator and hopefully it will throw it back or send it to the other communicator which is the one on the right, the one on top of the mountain. So there uh, I was already able to send a message. So time now to check whether it will be received by the other communicator and as you can see uh, looking on the right uh, monitor on the right side of the screen it's already been received by the other communicator so it is a success but nonetheless let's try going up there on top of the mountains just to verify that actually it is the one being communicated to by the device I was using at home way back there at home so as you can see now I'm climbing through uh, on my way going on top of the mountain I just need to probably just buy some stuff ah no there there's the other one as you can see there's the other one there's the other device the, the receiver and yes uh, it was a successful test uh, you can see here was received well I could it was almost instantaneously the distance was not that far of course but still uh, we can try this uh, in next field test in a much farther distance that's it for now until the next update of the software thank you in the meantime I'll have to fix the leaking faucet